Hello and welcome back. We are going to spend the next few minutes exploring some additional apps that fall under notification group. We previously created maintenance request and now we're going to create maintenance notification by clicking on create maintenance notification app. That gets us to create notification screen. In here we can select the notification type from the drop down list and in this case i've selected maintenance request the other way you can create a notification is by copying it from an existing notification but we are not going to do that here so if you hit enter that gets you to this screen here where you need to populate additional fields The first field that you need to populate is the long text. And this is where you enter any information that will be helpful for the technician to execute the job. This could be information about the location, about known failures, any readings or even findings that may be helpful to them. The next field is the short description. And the reason you populate this field is that it is associated with the notification number. So anytime you search the notification number, you can see the short description side by side. It becomes easy to know what notification is all about. Then we also select the priority. In this case, I've selected medium. And then the other important information you need to populate is the technical object. So any notification you create has to be associated with a technical object. So a technical object could be something like equipment number, could be a functional location or whatever you have assigned your technical objects. So scrolling down to the responsibilities area, these are the groups that are responsible for executing the work order or that are associated with that notification. So the first one is the work center. This is where work is actually performed. And that is configured during when you're configuring your, configuring your system. The next one is planning plant again. Uh, comes that is done well during the configuration uh, stage and then the planner group planner groups could be could have several planner groups in your system could have mechanical electrical plumbing or even calibration so it helps in organizing your maintenance workforce so moving on to malfunction data this is where you enter data related to the failure and in here the damage code is what we're going to be looking at and just to mention i have separate videos about setting up and managing your damage code and cost code and also the object code other several videos i have named are configuring catalog profiles. So you can look up those videos and to see more about that. So damage code, if you're going to add a new damage code, this is a screen where you add your damage codes. So one of the things that you need to select here is the object code. This is the object that is associated with the damage code that you're going to select. For example, a pump, you could have a shaft as the object code, and then the damage code is corroded, for example. So at the damage codes, we have a drop down there. And from here, you can select one or several damage codes that are associated with the object code that has um, that you're creating the notification for. The most important thing about this information is that later on when you're doing your 
reliability analysis, you're able to get very good insights into how your systems are performing. So once that is done, then that damage code is gonna appear in your notification that you have created. So I have the notification number there and all the data that you see in this screen will be saved and will be searchable later on when you're doing your reliability analysis. When this notification is passed over to the planner to start planning or even screening and eventual scheduling and execution. So this gets you history that can be used later on. So that is how we work with creating notification in SAP. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. And please remember to subscribe to this channel for additional videos.